draw a circle of any size, not too small. Divide the circle with a vertical line. Make sure it extends to about five times the diameter of the circle. Set your compass with the point on one of the intersections where the line crosses the circle and the pencil on the opposite intersection. Draw a circle. Put your compass point on the opposite side and do the same. Join the points where the large circles intersect to find your horizontal line. Now use these new intersections in the center circle to draw another two large circles. Then connect the intersections where the lines cross the outer circles to draw a tilted square. Find the point where the larger circles cross and connect them to find the 45 degree angle. This will divide the square into four smaller squares and now we're going to divide again into 16 by connecting the corners of each of the smaller squares. Make sure each new line extends past the circles. Then draw a line through the cross sections of the smaller squares. Now join the corners of all these new squares to find their cross sections. Now we're going to expand the grid all the way around by using the two intersections towards the outer edge of the circles. Follow your straight edge down to the vertical line and put a small mark that crosses the line. Set your compass from the center point to the mark you just made. Draw a circle. Then connect the intersections where the circle crosses the lines. Continue dividing your squares using the cross sections until you've got a 20 by 20 grid. We're aiming for 400 squares here.
that's 400 so this is our grid you might be thinking it would have just been easier to use graph paper and you'd be right but that's not how I roll this is how they would have done it back in the day and that's what I like about it so there's no easy way to explain this part so just watch carefully and copy what I do the easiest way to get this done is to count how many squares each line will take up and the pattern will be split into four sections and then each section will mirror its neighboring sections if that makes sense And all that's left to do now is to fill in the pattern. <laughs> 